Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you start wholesaling houses, you need to watch this video. What is up guys, Zach in here. And in today's guide, I'm gonna give you my full breakdown on wholesaling houses in 2023, the good, bad, and ugly, and really everything you need to know about how to get your first wholesaling real estate deal so you don't fail. This wholesaling real estate industry is built for you to make money, but also it's built to take money away from you just like a casino. And what I want to do today is just give you the fundamental building blocks everybody needs to know about wholesaling real estate so you can find people who want to get rid of the property for cash, you write up those contracts, and then sell those contracts to rich landlords and house slippers to make twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 every single month. But the problem is there's so much misconstrued information of you should do this, I should spend four grand every single month doing SEO and all these crazy stuff. And... Honestly, if you're in 2023 right now, you're just getting started wholesaling real estate, you do not have to be dropping any money at all to get your first deal. I know it's really weird for somebody on YouTube to say you don't have to spend $4,000 a month to get into wholesaling because I'm one of the only people on YouTube that's not trying to actually take money out of you when you're starting out in this business. I just want you to get it rich and for you to get wholesaling deals. Now, the real question you're having right now is what is wholesaling or what does this business even entail? Maybe your brother, uncle, sister, nephew sent you this and you're pretty confused. So let's kind of bring it from the top. Wholesaling real estate is simply the process of writing up contracts to buy in real estate and then selling that contract to a rich landlord or house slipper for a profit or what we call an assignment fee or a finder's fee. I basically write up a piece of paper to buy, let's say at $100,000, and then I go find somebody who wants to buy that piece of paper for me, that property for 110, 000, 120,000. That is the point. Now, first and foremost, you might be like, who's this kid? Why do I want to listen to him? This dude seems like he doesn't know anything at all. Well, if you go to freewholesaling.com, my free wholesaling course, you check around this YouTube channel, you go to any other wholesaling YouTube channels I got, you'll see there's not one person who has more checks posted than me on the internet for wholesaling real estate. For my own deals and people that are actually learning from me doing wholesaling deals. I have over 100,000 people every single month logged into my free wholesaling course and they start doing deals, they start getting a lot of cash and they start showing you guys that it actually works. There's not one person in the wholesaling game with more testimonials than me and the best part is nobody paid to get into it. These are people making 10, 20, $30,000 a month. I literally interviewed them on the Flip Work YouTube channel about how they did exactly that by listening to my advice. What I say actually works. I've been wholesaling real estate for seven plus years. I've done over 2000 wholesaling real estate deals. And from my experience, if you can really just understand the basics of this business and apply yourself every single day to become a better person and a better wholesaler, you'll get rich and you can easily break six figures and get all the way up to seven figures for wholesaling real estate. Now, one thing I want you to understand is the wholesaling real estate process. The wholesaling real estate process from A to Z is pretty simple. In 30 days, you can get your first wholesaling deal. This is a great graphic I like to use to really represent what wholesaling real estate's all about from getting your first deal all the way to getting it sold. Day one through seven here is what we call marketing. This is basically us finding that distressed property, that person that wants to get rid of their house. Day seven through 14 in the month, that is when we start locking up the deal and getting the property under contract. Days 14 through 18, we go find the cash buyer, that rich landlord or house slipper that wants to buy our property. And then they give us that finder's fear, that assignment fear for a profit. And then days 18 through 24 are gonna be the cash buyer walkthroughs. And then day 24 through 30, we're gonna do the closing day. Now the walkthrough is pretty simple. Remember, we're getting a property under contract. We're finding that rich landlord or house slipper. And they basically come to us and say, hey, we're ready to buy the property, and they just want to go through the house and look at it. We'll call the seller up, say, hey, it's okay. My partner comes around three o'clock. It's all good. They come by, we walk through the property. Then they say, yes, this house is good. They sign an agreement to give us our finder's fee or assignment fee. And then at the end of the contract length, they actually purchase the property. So let's say we get a property under contract for $100,000, and we have a rich landlord or house slipper that wants to buy it for $120,000. At closing, the cash buyer, basically that rich landlord or house slipper, is going to give $120,000 to the title company. 
that $120,000, 100,000 of that is gonna to go to the seller because we signed an agreement to buy that house for $100,000. And then that $20,000, that extra $20,000 on top of that contract price, our finder's fee or assignment fee, gets a check nice to us that looks beautiful and amazing. Now you're probably watching this and you just saw this and you're like, whoa, 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 this has left me more questions than answers. How do I find these wholesaling deals? Where do I say to someone to get them to write a contract for me? How do I find these rich landlords or house slippers? How do I close these deals? How do I find title companies? And a plethora of questions are being thrown at you and I completely get it and don't freak out. Quick plug really quick. I do have a free wholesaling course. It's called freewholesaling.com. I wish I can tell you in the next 15, 30 minutes, I can just give you everything you possibly need to know about wholesaling houses and you start making millions of dollars a year, but that's not the case. You're probably gonna have to have at minimum 10 to 20 hours of just knowledge of understanding things, of watching videos or presentations to really truly grasp it. Now between you and me, maybe two or three hours, if you really watch just one or two videos that I have on the 30 day wholesaling challenge I got inside the free course, you could probably just start finding deals like this. And really within an hour, I can show you how to find these good deals. So you can start taking action now. If you watch some videos every single day, it'll be easy to go. So that's why I recommend you go to freewholesaling.com, my free wholesaling course, because as over 100,000 people actively in it every single month, I'd love to have you in there. You'll actually find real deal examples of me talking to these people, getting properties under contract, finding buyers, getting checks, showing you the checks and showing you the entire process so you can start wholesaling deals the easy, simple way. But let me give you a quick overview of this process. Like this process entails, wholesaling real estate is just only three parts. I know that process looks very overwhelming, but if you just break it down into three parts, that's all we really need to focus on to learn. Part one is marketing. These are actually finding the people who want to sell their property for cash at a discount. This might seem weird, but there are actually people out here, due to a circumstance, they would want to sell the property for below what the market price is. They're doing it for the speed and convenience of a cash sale. Just like somebody trading in their car, knowing they can probably go to Starbucks, take a picture of their VIN, go to Auto Trader, meet somebody at that Starbucks and try to sell it, do the weird test driving thing. Or they can just go to a car dealership and yes, they know their car's worth 10 grand, but they're willing just to sell it for eight grand so they can trade it in and not deal with the hassle of trying to do it without a dealership off Craigslist or meeting someone from Facebook to sell the car. They just don't wanna deal with it. They don't wanna haggle, they don't wanna negotiate, they just wanna get rid of it. This is also on the flip side, very similar to the process of you just getting rid of something or selling something at a pawn shop. Of course, Rick Harrison on Pawn Stars is gonna give you a low, low, low price, but he's giving you cash right now for that item. Same exact thing in wholesaling real estate. We're like a used car dealership or pawn shop for people that wanna sell their house. Yes, we are gonna give you lower than average offers, but of course, because we're gonna make money on it. But on the flip side, when you agree to sell your property to us or write up that contract with us, you're gonna close very quick and you're gonna get cash for the transaction and we're gonna pay the closing costs. So this is where marketing comes into play. We gotta let people know that we're looking to buy a couple properties for cash. Now you're not one on actually buying it, that rich landlord or house slipper is actually gonna be your partner on this transaction. So you can tell people that, hey, me and my partner are looking to buy a couple more properties for cash. What are really good ways to actually find these motivated sellers, these people that wanna get rid of the property? Well, honestly, I found government lists have been the best one. These are lists you can get from the government of people that have a lot of problems and you can just call these people up. These are gonna be like code violations where people have run down houses and code enforcement's writing them on a list. Tax liens, people that are just not paying their taxes at all. The water shutoff list, people that are just not paying their water bill, so they're actually behind on that. There's no running water at the property, so they're definitely just gonna get rid of it for cash. Or even the pre-foreclosures, which I can go to the clerk of the court, basically just get court records of people that aren't paying their mortgage payments, and you can just get their information. The property address will pop up and the owner's info. You can go to a website like truepeoplesearch.com and actually get their phone number right now, and it costs no money at all. It's actually kind of crazy how that works, but you can go and get anyone's phone number on a list like that for free, and it costs nothing at all. On top of this too, you don't have to be pulling lists and finding people's phone numbers if that's not your way of doing things. You can actually go in your car and just drive around your neighborhood and look for ugly houses. And once you get those addresses, you can get their phone number and call them up. That's what we called drying for dollars. Now I actually invented another method on top of drying for dollars where you don't actually have to call these people up. So all the other lists and methods I've talked to you about require getting that list 
and then getting their phone number and usually calling these people up and seeing if they want to sell their property and get rid of it. Now, sometimes you can text these people instead, but another marketing strategy, which I absolutely love that nobody in wholesaling ever talks about, so this is why it's great for this video, is this little method called reverse drawing for dollars. With the power of a sticky note, you can drive around town, find an ugly house and write something like, hey, this is Zach, I had a quick question about your property, please give me a call back write down a phone number. Now, where do you get a good phone number like this? You can use a service that has phone numbers for free. That would just get forwarded to your phone number. The best free one is what we call Google Voice. And you get a professional business phone number absolutely for free. Write that phone number on a sticky note, slap that sticky note on that ugly house, and you'll have people calling doing inbound leads for you saying, hey, I, I just got a sticky note on the property. Are you trying to call me? What's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Zach. I'm actually calling you because me and my partner, the cash buyer, that rich landlord or house flipper, we're looking to buy a couple properties for cash. Are you looking to sell it at all? And really, you can put 100 of those out, you'll probably get 30 calls. There's a good chance one of those people want to get rid of their property. And then we can go to the next part in wholesaling real estate, not marketing, but what we call acquisitions. Acquisitions is basically the process of us negotiating that contract and writing up the best price for it. Now, just making an offer out to someone. So say, yes, I want to sell my property. Okay, when's a good time for me to go buy the house? You go buy the house. You say, hey, what price are you looking to sell it for? Oh, I'm looking to sell it for 120. Well, can you do 80? You negotiate back and forth. How about 100 and it's a deal? You shake hands and you write up the contract. Now the next question is like, how do I find a contract right? I do have a free contract. Hint, hint, broken record here in my free wholesaling course, freewholesaling.com. And then from there, once you write up that contract, you just submit it to a title company. Now, my favorite way to find a title company that works for wholesaling real estate is just to go to a Facebook group and find a real estate investing group for your area. So for example, if I lived in Atlanta, I'd go to the Atlanta real estate investing Facebook group. I'd go to the search tab inside of that group and search wholesaling title company. And you'll find all these people recommending good wholesaling title companies in the Atlanta area. So do it for any of your groups in your local city or county. That's probably the best way to find a good title company. Once you submit that contract, you're like, okay, this is all good. What you're gonna do next is go find that rich landlord or house slipper. And the process of us finding that rich landlord or house slipper and then selling that contract to them is what we call dispositions. The best way to find these rich landlords or house slippers is basically you just go to Zillow, go to the four rents and call these people up. So if I locked up a property in the 11133 area code, I'm gonna go to Zillow, search 11133 and pop up all the four rents in that zip code. From there, I'm gonna call all the landlords that are trying to rent out their property. Remember where all the landlords do, they all rent out property. So I'm gonna call them up and these people are gonna have their personal cell phone number on their for rent ads because they're doing it all themselves. And I'm gonna call them and say, hey, my name is Zach. I'm actually not looking to rent out your property. I'm a local wholesaler and I actually got a property on a contract a couple streets down and I was seeing if you're looking to buy a couple more properties for cash. Then from there, I'm gonna ask them some questions we have to ask everyone that is a potential cash buyer that I've listed in freelancing.com just to make sure they're legit and I can wholesale with them and it'll be a good transaction for them. And once they're qualified from there, I'll ask them if they can buy the house and the best price I can do is 120 for it. They look at the house, they see the pictures, they're like, okay, I can do 120. Say so what's a good time to meet. And so I meet them at the property with the seller. I let them know, hey, my partner and I are gonna come by at four o'clock Wednesday, does that work? That works. They go by the property, they walk through, they say it's all good. We get an assignment of contract signed. So I know this might seem confusing, but when I say a contract, there is a purchase and sale agreement, basically an agreement for us to purchase the property for cash. And then an assignment of contract, which is basically an agreement for us to sell that contract A to the cash buyer for a profit, an assignment fee or a finder's fee. Once we do that, we get our finder's fee, we submit it to the title company, it's all good. The title company does all the crazy title issues and they deal with the whole transaction. They make sure it goes through. And then the buyer on the date that we agreed to close the property gives that, for example, $120,000 to the title company, 100K goes to the seller, they get their money. I get my $20,000 check at the closing day and we all made money in wholesaling real estate. The truth is most real estate wholesaling gurus wanna make this process really complicated and crazy and I know in a 15, 20 minute video, I can't do the entire process, but I just gave you game on how to find deals, how to lock up deals, and how to sell it for the best price possible. If you go to freewholesaling.com, I promise you that all your questions in wholesaling real estate are gonna be answered. And remember, on this channel, I go live every single Sunday at 10 p.m. and I can personally talk to you one-on-one -on -one and answer any of your burning questions in wholesaling real estate so you can be the best wholesaler possible. This channel has all the resources you need. I have freewholesaling.com that'll give you everything you need and there's nothing stopping you right now from getting your first wholesaling deal. 
Just do me a favor. If you got any value from this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you want to get your first wholesaling deal. And remember, if you're actually serious about getting into wholesaling and wanting to learn it, and if you have no money, just go to freewholesaling.com. It's a free wholesaling course. And I'll see you guys soon. This is Zach in signing out. Have a blessed one.